Now, if you just look uh, down behind our studio to the harbour down there, well, one of the liveliest yachts is called the Anaconda. The owner, a Mr. Edmund Irvine. Now, you might remember him. I think he used to be an F1 driver. Now, he's in his first year out of action, and Louise found him suitably relaxed. So, what do you think of the new look Formula One? Actually, I really enjoy watching. I don't particularly like the, the qualifying format. I think it's, it's boring. You know, you, you come here and you see 20 cars in qualifying and do one lap. I don't, I don't agree with it. I think, you know, the way it was before, where it would build and build and build in the last five minutes, it was crazy. I think that was great. Um, you're not seeing the all-out qualifying lap that you used to see. You just don't see it now because people are driving 95% because if you lose two tenths of a second by driving 95%, but if you go 101, you lose a second, two seconds. So we're, it's, it, it hasn't got the... Qualifying used to be something very special. It's not anymore. What do you reckon of the new generation of Formula One drivers, the guys like Alonso and Raikkonen? I think Alonso's got a really big future. Raikkonen seems to make a lot of mistakes still, but, you know, he's definitely got something. Um, but Alonso's the only guy that I think got that little bit extra, really. How did you feel when you found out that you weren't going to be re-signed by Jaguar? Jaguar had no intention of staying. And you know? Jordan? Jordan? Um, I just thought EJ would have probably um, taken some money out of the bank, um, out of his own bank and put it into the team. Instead, he, he didn't want to reinvest in the team and, and he's paying the price. Do you think he is? For sure he is, for sure. It's the first time you've been back to Grand Prix since you left. Why did you pick Monaco? Actually, because the, the boats if you say to a girl, do you want to come to Monaco for the Grand Prix? She's not going to say no. <laughs> I'm very self-contained, as you probably you can see. So it's I just watch it on TV, and it's a great party. Monaco is like it's the, it's the most amazing event in the world. I think I, don't, I really do think it's second to none. Is it nice coming here as a driver because for once you can party, or as a non-driver? I'm in position A because I got the boat here. I've got a lot of people from Italy that I know here. My sister's opened a new club here. I'm still famous. <laughs> so life is pretty good at the moment. Don't you eat that? I always feel that Eddie Irvine just lacks a little bit of self-confidence. Right.